In today's video, you are going to see what I think about trail runners for backpacking. Hi everyone, my name is Amy Rout. I like hiking and backpacking, and that is why it makes sense for me to sit here today and talk to you about backpacking footwear. So a little backstory, I've used backpacking boots for about eight years now. That is mostly because they were required for my job, which required me to hike many miles outdoors every day. So I thought it made a lot of sense to also use them for backpacking. In the past few years, I've seen a lot of people talk about trail runners and I never thought that they would be for me, but I decided to give trail runners a chance anyway. And I even climbed Grand Teton in them. Except for the climbing part, I used climbing shoes, but the rest of it, I used trail runners. I ended up purchasing these, which are the Solomon Speedcross 4s. One of the very first things that I really enjoyed about trail runners is how light they are. Another really big thing that stood out to me was when I would set up camp after a long day of hiking, I didn't feel the need to switch instantly into camp shoes like I have felt for the past many years with my backpacking boots. To me, the idea that my feet are not super achy and they're already comfortable in the shoes I've been walking in all day means that there's something going on right with them. These also have pretty aggressive tread. I just had dirt fall into my lap <laughs> from inside of these. These have pretty aggressive tread. I actually feel more comfortable with these on slicker stuff than I do in my boots. I do have some feet problems. I have always called them my weak ankles. Um, it's really weird. They tend to randomly give out on me, usually on long trips and especially while backpacking and carrying heavier loads. I recently had to go to a physical therapist for IT band problems and issues with my ankle. And turns out I have posterior tibial dysfunction and I have almost flat feet and I overpronate. Uh, this has caused me to have pretty bad pain in my feet, which is why I always thought that I needed those mid tops for extra support. I think with technology improving, trail runners are starting to become a bigger thing as well as lighter gear. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm all about light gear. As for my overpronation issues, I don't know if they have helped at all but I know for sure that they haven't made things worse and my feet are more comfortable in the meantime. I will probably still stick with my mid-top boots for snow, but other than that, I think I'm liking the trail runners and I think I'm gonna stick with them. Again, everyone has different preferences and different needs, but if you've been thinking about switching from boots to trail runners, I think you should give it a chance. I don't regret it and maybe it might be the same situation for you. I know that this is a topic that people wonder about so I kind of wanted to just share my experience especially since I did only switch about a year ago. Thank you for watching everybody. Spring is just about here so if you want to check out my stories on Instagram of trips I do before I post a video you should follow me on there and I will see you guys in the next one. Cool.